You've obviously uh, spoken to John Kavanagh in the past. His home is obviously Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'm not sure if you read his book, but you get mentioned, I think, on five different occasions in the book. And you will obviously know this, but for anybody at home who uh, isn't, isn't aware of uh, this extract in the book, I may as well just read out a bit of this page. It's before they go to Vegas. McGregor's made it at this point. This isn't any uh, small money. This is John Kavanagh at the height. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they're about to go off, and um, Orla walks in and hands uh, John the phone and says, this phone call is for you. Uh, and he says, I'm really busy at the moment. We're about to get on, uh, on a flight to, to Vegas. Who is it? And he says, uh, she says, I think you want to take this call. It's Hoist Gracie. Uh, when she hands me the phone, I can't believe it was actually Hoist on the other end of the line. I was speechless for a moment before I could actually utter a greeting. John, hello. This is what you say. Uh, my name is Hoist Gracie. I'm from the Gracie family. And Kavanaugh says to you, uh, I know exactly who you are, Mr. Gracie. You don't need to introduce yourself to me. Uh, and then before he hangs up the phone to you, like you wish him luck and all that, and you have a private student going to Dublin, which is, yes. a, which is a real honour for him at, at that point. And he says, I can't allow you to hang up uh, without telling you that you've basically given me this life. I saw you when I was a terrified 19-year-old kid who didn't know where he was going or what he wanted to do. But when I saw what you were able to do, it changed my life. I really can't thank you enough. You've given me an amazing life. None of us would be doing what we're doing now without you stepping into that octagon. And that really comes back to the earlier point we made, why you were the Gracie selected, because you beat guys who were much bigger than you. You gave hope to kids like John Kavanagh who were bullied in school that they could go out and fight at that level. That's the idea that my father had, my father and my brother, Horion. It's like I'm more of an average sized person. Still, until today, 178, 180 pounds, same weight as the first UFC. So... Yeah, it's to people associate themselves more mm -hmm. with myself. How much respect do you but, have for... Sorry, but John Kavanagh, I mean, like a lot of people, I did not change them. They think I changed them. They changed themselves. I just showed the way. Well, there were, they need, some people need inspiration, and, and that's what you provided. I just showed, hey, it's possible. You can do it. So, but they're the ones that got up and did it. So, yeah, they say, I did it. Nah, I think I tell them all the time, no, you did it. I didn't make you get up off the couch. You know who got up the couch and went after your dream, man, after you saw me. You're inspiring <laughs> me right now. Just <laughs> <laughs>